In elementary school, every day was an adventure. There wasn't stress, there weren't tests. Students were free to play and discover and learn and experience. School was not a burden, but rather a blessing. So what happened? Why do we wake up for school now? Not with excitement, but with dread. Montgomery County is one of the safest, most educated, and most prosperous counties in the nation. So why is our public education system deteriorating our students' morale? One main frustration is the growing influence of standardized testing. Too many tests. That's the clear message from a lot of frustrated parents and teachers across the country who've been saying for years that American kids are way too bogged down under a mountain of standardized exams. Standardized testing is a little bit of a hot button issue for me. They're really just pressuring you to do well in tests, not so much hoping that you'll, you know, absorb everything that you're learning. Learning is about so much more than just filling in the right bubble. What I've seen, how it affects students, is negative in a lot of ways. It's become high stakes. It's not good for kids' self-esteem. It's not good for anxiety. The flip side is the amount of time that goes into testing and test preparation takes away from curriculum time. A typical American student takes 112 mandated standardized tests between pre-K and 12th grade. Most countries that outperform the U.S. on international exams like China and Korea test students three times during their school careers. I don't think testing really has um it shouldn't tell you how well your students are doing, you know, like you should uh, want your students to learn as much as they can, absorb as much as they can and help them so that they uh, actually understand what you're teaching them and not just teach them to pass a test. Um, my other question is, why did you guys take uh, exams away? Like, what was the purpose of doing that? Oh, yeah. Why did MCPS get rid of final exams? The state of Maryland passed a law that no more than 2% of the school year should be spent on testing. The county felt that they don't have control over the federal tests, so therefore what they have control of is eliminating the final exams. It's not preparing kids for college where they're going to have final exams. The exams that the kids are taking instead aren't something that you can really study for in the same way as final exams. They're not connected to the curriculum in the same way as final exams. And what it does to me as a teacher is it makes it feel like I'm not trusted to create an exam for my students. When you don't know the test that your kids are gonna take, it's hard to prepare them for it. The world is changing faster than ever. How can we construct a curriculum flexible enough for the future? How can we best design our education system for thinkers and doers, not just clones or robots? If I could change one thing about the school system, I would like to see social, emotional, mental health of our young people be a priority across curricula, across how teachers work, how we interact with students, across discipline. I would still keep the same things that they have now, but change it up just a little bit so there is a little bit more flexibility throughout like school and living life. A place where um, everybody was ready to move on to the next grade and every single child who graduated high school is ready for graduation. If I were to be able to design my own school system, I would have collaboration as some sort of foundation of how teachers work together and how teachers work with students. I would like to also see students enter that collaboration. I would like to see students be more empowered to have their voices heard. I would like them to know what channels they can go through to voice their opinions, to voice their complaints, to be part of the school community so that it's everybody working together for the education.